Hello everyone and welcome back to another painting tutorial with Oscar Lars Painting Studio. This tutorial is focusing on how to paint fur and you can use this tutorial to paint your boars and gorgrantas but you can also use it if you're looking for a way to paint your pelts for your space wolf army. We hope you're gonna enjoy this tutorial, let's begin! Step 1 is to cover the entire model in a solid layer of Mornfang Brown. I have covered mine using an airbrush, but two to three thin coats should do the trick if you're using a brush. The second step is to dry brush the model using XV88. To dry brush easily, I use an old piece of masonite. I put a glob of XV88 on the masonite and take my flat long haired brush and work the paint into the hairs. I'd recommend using an old brush or a cheaper brush, that way you can be rough with it. A trick to dry brushing successfully is to work the paint into the hairs of the brush and check that the paint is beginning to dry. I step outside of my pool of paint that I have worked here, and as you can see it leaves traces of the paints rather than wet spots. This signals that the paint is ready to be applied to the model. With long quick strokes I work all of the fur of the model with this dry brush. If you get some paints on other parts of the model, don't worry you can fix that later on. In step 3, I coat the underside of the board with Bane Blade Brown. This will require two coats as the paint has less pigmentation than a lot of other paints. I am stippling the paint rather than dragging it carefully. This is an organic pattern, so if it looks uh, a little too perfect, it loses its effect. The next step is to add about a 50-50 mix of Mornfang Brown and Beyblade Brown and apply it right by the transition line between the two paints. This is a quick blend that becomes less noticeable after more dry brush and wash. Step 5 is to add Rhinox Hide to the top of the bore. This creates a three color transition of the fur of the boar. The principle here is the same as with the underbelly. So in step six, it's naturally that we mix the Rhinox Hide uh, with the Mornfang Brown about 50-50 and smooth the transition out. If you do so when the Rhinox Hide is still wet, it may help to make the transition even smoother, but this is not necessary. The next step is to apply a wash of Agrax Earthshade. I did not thin this wash down, but I'm also making sure that it doesn't pull too much either. When the wash has dried, in step 8 we apply more dry brush. And for this I'm using this Redgrass Games dry brush for more control. Once again we apply a dry brush of XV88 to the palette and work it into the hairs and then we apply this dry brush to the middle section of the fur where the Mornfang Brown base is. If the dry brush hit either the lighter or the darker color don't worry about it. It will just help to make it look more natural as long as it's not too much. In step 9, I take some Ashapti bone, and with my still dirty dry brush, I mix it into the brush hairs and it creates a mix of a little bit of XV88 and a lot of Ashapti bone. I am focusing this dry brush on areas that stand out more and avoid the creases around the legs. After this, I take pure Ashapti bone and just buff a little bit more on those areas. In step 11, I apply a Carrick Stone dry brush to the underbelly. Lastly, I apply a dry brush of Steel Legion Drab to the top of the bore to give the darker hairs a little bit more definition. And there you have it, this is a quicker way of doing fur with just all dry brush, uh, but I think it still looks great. 
Now you can use this for your boars, Gorgrunta, Stonehorn and Thunder Tusks or even Space Wolves or any of the other furs that you may come across. If you do use it on Space Wolf or any other model that has already been painted, make sure that you be extra careful with those dry brushes. We want to give a special thanks to all of our patrons who make each of these tutorials happen. Benjamin Winans, Jason D. Fluffer, Jonathan Edlund, Joseph Larson, Mark Alexander, Martin Paulson, Mitzi, Matt Rutowski, Mike Elkins, Seamus, Stormcrutch, Torsten Shops, and Warhammer OK. The model used in this video was an orc boar boy from Games Workshop, and the painting handle was also from Games Workshop. The smaller dry brush and wet palette are from Redgrass Games. The intro animation was created by Robbie Shillstone. The editing for this video was done by the amazing Martin Kramer. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to help us grow this channel and the support to help us produce more free tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting!